Identification of primary, secondary, and tertiary amines. Uh, the functional group is the amino group, which is this group here. Functional group, of course, means is, the, is a specific uh, collection of atoms on a molecule that gives that molecule its specific chemical and physical properties. What's that gap? Well, normally, you've got an R group. Now, what is R? Isn't that the gas constant? No, 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 no. Uh, R is alkyl, so that's methyl, methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, hexyl, dodecyl, or something like that. So quite often, uh, those R groups are going to be that. It could be chlorine, could be halogen. What are the IB going to ask you about this? Uh, they threaten to ask about it in the context of a homologous series. So homologous series is, has a members are different by CH2. So if I take this first one here and I have a CH3, that would be methylamine. And again, you don't need to know the naming. If I was to add CH2, that would give me C2H5. And the next member would be C3H7. And on and on. You notice it looks like ammonia, NH3. Uh, so if you pull off a hydrogen, and replace it with an alkyl group. That's a primary amine. Do that twice, that's a secondary amine. And if all three hydrogens on ammonia have been replaced, then that's going to be a tertiary amine. The bonding within the molecule, well, it's just covalent bonds, isn't it? Uh, Non-metals sharing electrons. But the intermolecular forces, the force between one molecule and the next molecule, it's going to be hydrogen bonds. In fact, I can see the potential for hydrogen bonds happening twice here between this molecule and another one, only once on this one. And for the tertiary amine, there's no potential for hydrogen bonding there at all. Remember that if it's a nitrogen with hydrogen, oxygen, oh, oxygen with hydrogen, or fluorine with hydrogen, that has the potential for hydrogen bonding. Alrighty. Uh, one other thing that they've threatened to do is maybe stick on this benzene ring. Now it looks like benzene, but it isn't actually going to be called benzene. If it's benzene with uh, other things stuck onto it, it's called phenyl. So that would be called a phenylamine or phenylamine. Next up is the amides. So that's the amido group or the amido group, depending on how you want to pronounce it or pronounce it. These have no smell, unlike the smelly amines. What could they ask you about here? Well, I can see that there's a carbonyl group there. Sometimes they ask you about that. And I can see again, there's potential for hydrogen bondings coming off. Well, hold on, Thornley. Aren't these hydrogen bonds? No, 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 no. Those are covalent bonds. Those are within the molecule. Hydrogen bonds are between one molecule and the next one. Okay, enough talking. Can you find the amines and amides in the chemical structures of these vitamins? Shout out to Compound Chem, whoever he or she is. Loves your work. So I thought of it first. Anyway. Retinol. I don't see any nitrogens there. So no amines or amides. Vitamin B1. You might be tempted with this, but that's actually an imine with an I, beyond the scope of the IB. But there is a primary amine there, isn't there? Nitrogen with a carbon attached and two hydrogens attached to that nitrogen. There's a primary there. Vitamin B2. Again, you might be tempted to think that's an amide, but that seems to not be an amide uh, beyond uh, the IB definition. The IB definition has two hydrogens coming out of that nitrogen. But there is an amine. There's the amine. Tertiary amine, nitrogen with three carbons attached. Vitamin B3, that's an amide, isn't it? If that's a carbon. Nicotinamide, oh yeah, clues in the name. B5, hmm, again, tempted with the amide there, but not according to the IB book. Let's move on to vitamin B12. That's why you have to eat some cobalt, not too much, uh, to get your B12 working. Now, uh, they've kind of tied up the amides here. There's a bunch of these. So if you actually expand out that condensed structure, 
it's carbon double bond and then there's the nitrogen hydrogen and hydrogen so my suspicion is the IB is going to try to tie up some of these in the skeletal structures or the condensed structures for you to find all righty uh, I think we're done and I thrashed that one a bit <laughs>